it's cold. Have you prepared your irrigation system for cold winter temps? By taking a few steps now, you can greatly reduce the damage and expense of cracked and frozen pipes. Before starting the winterizing process, make sure you know your system before attempting a shutdown, as every system's different. Today, we'll show you some basic ways to get started, and if you have more questions, make sure to consult with an irrigation professional. Start by locating your irrigation shutoff. Usually, it's located outside of the home next to the home water shutoff. You'll want to close it with a quarter turn to the right using a valve key or a wrench. Sometimes, dirt gets stuck in the valve, so open and close the valve a few times to ensure there's no leaks and it's shutting properly. Today, we're going to be winterizing a system with an anti-siphon backflow prevention valve and automatic drain valves. This is the most common sprinkler system design at homes in South Lake Tahoe. To help the water fully drain from each zone, turn the sprinkler valve solenoid left to the open position. At this point, all the water should drain from the system. Now, set the automatic controller into rain mode or off. If you have questions, make sure to consult with an irrigation professional. Sign up for South Tahoe Public Utility District's water use portal to be alerted of leaks at mywater.stpud.us or contact South Tahoe Public Utility District for more information.